Okay, uh, here's another project I'm working on. A buddy of mine gave me these old uh, combination locks. He had a whole box full of different locks. And uh, some of them are pretty nice. These are pretty old. These are probably out of the 40s. Uh, they were made by Diebold. It's Diebold 902. Um, I've already repainted the dials. Polished them up. Polish them. Stick them in this truck here. One of my machines. Spin it up. Put a little polish and stuff on a piece of cloth. And just stick it in there. this very nice huh okay I'm gonna polish up this dial ring so uh, move this over here new buffer wheel turn this thing up to high speed Bit of rouge. Beautiful. Over here in the workshop, along with my uh, corn chips, <laughs> are these uh, displays I make. Cherry, oak, base. Okay, I precisely drilled four holes in the corners. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I got these stainless cap screws. See, they're dull right now. But I'm gonna stick them in this, uh, this hollow tube, like so. And polish them on the buffer. Then I'll put them in the four corners. All right, be right back. Okay, well that took about five minutes. Oh, well, they're nice, nice and polished now. Like uh, chrome. Yeah, I got black stuff all over me. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna mount them into the, uh, screw them into the wood. That shouldn't take too long. I just. Eleven more to go. Okay, I'll just mark the screw holes and drill them out. All right, here's my old drill press. Craftsman. Gonna uh, drill the center hole for the dial to go through. So, just gonna. It's hard to do with. This is really hard to do with one hand, but. Um, more or less, I'm just going to drill right through there. Okay, pretty much like that. Drilled little tiny pilot holes for the two dial screw, um, dial ring screws. And that one should be plenty big for the spindle itself, because it's only a quarter inch spindle. So, yeah, if I had a, uh, a tripod, this would be a lot easier, but I broke mine, so I have to get another one. So, now I'm going to screw the dial rings on. Okay, look at that. Dial rings are mounted. Uh, yeah, my buddy was just going to toss these old beauties, and I said, Nah, you can't do that. This is, these are part of history. These are really nice. So I figured I could 
mount them on uh, some nice wood and yeah, it makes a little nice, nice desk display. They're operational, I mean, they're fully functional. <laughs> so, well, now let's see if this fits. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it fits beautifully. Okay. Oh, now it's time to mount the lock on the back of the board. Okay, there's the lock. I just set it on there. There's the driver and the spline key. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna, gonna square that up. Locate the holes, use an awl to make the center. Drill them you know, halfway through and screw the lock onto the board. Ah, uh, there, my uh, my drill bits selection. Odds and ends. Drill press. Barometers. Bench is a mess right now, but oh well. Well, back to work. Okay, there we go. Finished product. Pretty nice. Piece of history. There we go. This is uh, one of my last projects. It's um, set up just like a safe. There, they're both locked. Can't pull the bolt in. One open, can't pull the bolt in. open can slide the bolt in okay yeah these things were a mess I had to repaint the dials and um, polish up the uh, nickel this is a piece of old mahogany that I had laying around for a long time Finally found a place to use it.